what is going on guys thank you for joining one more time to another one of my tutorials here i created worship sound and what i'm gonna do today is uh, a few days ago someone asked me a question to see how do i how do you assign multiple uh, channel strips to one fader that way you can control it with your midi controller or with your midi keyboard so i'm not gonna take too much of your time and let's just go ahead and jump right into it right now we're just gonna go ahead and create uh, some sounds so I just got an empty patch right here uh, it says on title patch so we're just gonna do a tutorial and from there let's just go ahead and create uh, let's go ahead and do three we're gonna do three instrument tracks and let's just choose any of the just uh, stock sound so let's go ahead and get one of these let's get the Yamaha here and let's go to the strings section we'll go to orchestra strings we'll just do the pop strings and let's get another sound so let's just get a let's go to synth. all right so we're gonna choose the 80s wave synth and basically uh, we're just gonna assign the three sounds to one fader so you'll be able to control it with one fader uh, now keep in mind that as, once you set your volume for this it's not gonna change the volume is gonna stay the same so if you wanted to control the volume in one of these you would have to do it manually here and then when you move the faders it will it will increment and uh, decrease uh, accordingly to what you have set on this side so well the first thing you want to do before we even go to this part uh, once you have your faders on the screen and this is all configured through the layout window so once you have your faders then you have to assign these faders to your controller so for you to do that you select the fader you press assign and then you move the controller that you want to assign within your either your meter keyboard or your controller surface that you want to use so now as you can see this is moving so mine's already assigned so once you have done that then all you want to do is go to the edit window one more time and select the fader you want to use to control those three sounds now you're gonna click assigned so when this turns red then all you have to do is take your mouse over uh, that arrow to the volume on the channel strip and click on it once you do that you're gonna see where it has already been assigned so that one has already been assigned all right so I'm moving my fader on my M audio code 61 and you can see that the layer the first layer which is the Yamaha piano it's moving on the screen and on the channel strip settings so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna recreate that but you don't want to delete what you already have in place so what you have to do is come here to this section where the plus button is at and press it now that's gonna add another instance of uh, an assignment so you have your first assignment here you just created a new one which has nothing assigned to it so now we're gonna redo the first step so now we go to assign and we click on the second fader on our channel strips now that one's assigned and guess what you keep on doing the same thing for as many uh, channel strips that you want to assign so in this case we have three so we just got to add another one and without clicking anything else be careful not to click anything else because as soon as you click on something whatever that thing was that you clicked is going to be assigned so even if you press on a key if you clicked on that key that key is going to be assigned to uh to something so you don't want to do that because that will mess you up later down the line so make sure that if you have this engaged not to click anything else other than what you're assigning so now that we curated another one here then all we have to do is, and since it's already assigned uh, I mean it's already engaged right here you can see where it's red we click on the third fader 
and now we have three assignments uh, all assigned to one fader so volume volume and volume that because we clicked on the volume fader so deselect the assign and as simple as that when I move my uh, fader at my code 61 you're gonna see the three of them moving okay so that's how you do that thank you for watching hope you guys like this small tutorial and y'all have a great day